what's going on guys it's david here welcome to another review video today we're going to be checking out the reebok nano 6 i um, going to be changing up today's format just a little bit so let me know down below if you guys actually like this format also make sure to hit that like subscribe and comment down below uh, because that lets me know i'm creating the kind of content that you guys want to see so without wasting any more time let's go ahead and hop into today's video what's going on guys today we are taking a look at what might be my new old favorite reebok crossfit shoe the reebok covert nano 6 and if you watch my older videos then you might be aware that i haven't been the biggest fan of reebok's line of crossfit shoes mainly due to their lack of versatile design silhouettes and ugly colorways and i say that as someone that has really spent a lot of time training in reebok shoes they just aren't that great well, that was until I came across the Covert Nano 6 colorway. Now, I know what you guys are thinking, David, isn't this an old shoe? Well, yes, it is, but there is a reason why CrossFit keeps re-releasing the shoe along with the twos and the fours. They're just that dope. Now, let's go ahead and jump into the specs of this shoe. This shoe is boasting a black sandpaper textured upper to help lock down that rope when you're performing rope climbs in combination with the Rope Pro technology featured in the gum bottom outsole. The outsole also features Reebok's earlier version of the Meta Split technology that assists in making sure that you can flex that muscle when running, jumping, or performing any other action type movement. I really like the sole a lot, way more than the Nano 8 because it's just a bit more solid and it doesn't feel like your foot is moving around when you're performing woolly lifts, but soft enough that you can maintain a good solid amount of running in this shoe. The shoe also features an etc anti-friction inner liner that makes sure your foot stays cool as well as dry and prevents any buildup of odor causing bacteria. And since this is like the last real CrossFit branded shoe, of course you've got the Nano 6 on the back and the Reebok CrossFit logo, as well as a pull tab to make sure that you can uh, better get your foot inside the shoe when putting on the shoe. Well, overall, I would have to say that I really like this shoe. I've been wearing it both in and out of the gym uh, on my way to work um, just pretty much all the time. And it just feels and looks good. It, it almost reminds me of if the Matt Fraser Metcon 4 and the Speed TRs from Reebok had a baby, this would be that shoe. It's just a good, solid pair of shoes. And I would really recommend people to pick this shoe up right now. If anything, I would actually tell people to pick up this shoe instead of the 7 or the 8 and maybe even the 9. While there is some differences in technology, I really think this is a solid shoe and I'm probably going to be wearing this shoe a lot more than my 8s just because of how good it feels. This shoe does retail right now for $130 plus shipping, but if you time it right within the next month, you should actually be able to snag this pair of shoes for a decent price. I was actually able to get this shoe for about $69 this past month, and since Reebok I think is kind of trying to get these shoes out of the door. Don't be surprised if you can get this pair of shoes for that same price again. Now, if I would have to say that there are cons with this shoe, I will say that um, there are a few things that I don't like. I mean, the main thing is there's no heel counter on the back. So if you're doing things like handstand pushups, you're not going to have that advantage as if you were wearing uh, Nano, um, not Nano, Metcon 4s. Um, also, the shoe fits very tight. Um, it's got a very tight and slimmed down silhouette, so it actually is a little bit hard to get your foot in the shoe, but with the pull tab, it actually kind of eases that. So I would definitely recommend that if you're putting your foot in the shoe to use the heel tab on the back of the shoe. But again, a lot of these uh, drawbacks are very nitpicky. I think the shoe is a really, really great shoe. Um, I hope Reebok continues to put out the shoe because I think, I mean, compared to the other shoes that I've had, as I've shown you guys before, I think this is probably the best Nano that I've actually ever worn, even compared to the Nano 8s. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and get back into training, but I hope you guys really enjoyed this unboxing and review. Uh, so I'd like to know more from you guys, what you guys think about the Nano 6, if you guys have already purchased this shoe, if you guys have not, if you guys are thinking about purchasing these shoes, I would definitely like to know what your guys' thoughts are or what your guys' favorite colorway of the Nano 6 is or what your guys' thoughts about other shoes. Let's go ahead and start that conversation down below. 
Also, let me know if you guys prefer these voiceover type videos as opposed to how I normally film. I'm trying to experiment and change up things to make things a better viewing uh, experience for you guys. So let me know down below. Also, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so you guys let me know that I'm creating the kind of content that you guys want to see. So guys, with that, as always, may your barbells be heavy and your coffee be black. This is David, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.